The largest road infrastructure project in Norway's history is now under construction. In fact, it might be the biggest road reconstruction ever. This new coastal highway with a $47 billion budget would link parts of Norway that previously required 21 hours of travel time. Travel time will be halved and seven different boat crossings will be avoided. But how is that even conceivable? Well, by essentially building the first floating freeway in history. Here's a look inside Norway's ambitious new project. From cutting edge floating tubes to how they are addressing safety issues. Welcome to Socialux. Our goal is to provide you with a dose of luxury travel, houses, cars, and stories of successful people so you can be inspired to live an abundant, beautiful, and successful life. We upload videos weekly. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and feel free to comment any questions you may have down below. Enjoy! At an average speed of 30 miles per hour, the nearly 700-mile journey between Christian Sand in the south and Trondheim in the north normally takes approximately 21 hours, costing more than $200 in gas for a compact car to complete the journey. There is a lot of travel between towns to keep the country functioning as 60% of Norway's exported goods are manufactured on the west coast where a third of Norway's population also resides. However, Norway intends to have travel times and petroleum costs with a new multi-billion dollar road project. Getting around Norway is anything but simple since there are seven different ferry crossings along the journey. Especially when you consider that each ferry crossing can take up to 45 minutes and costs roughly 616 US dollars. While individuals traveling for business or even for medical reasons aren't great fans of taking the long way, tourists may enjoy the picturesque route. Fortunately, a shortcut will soon be available. This $47 billion infrastructure project made possible by the construction of a new coastal highway, Route E39, proposes to replace the ferries with bridges and build a conventional tunnel as well as what may be the first floating tunnel in history. A pair of concrete tubes sunk around 100 feet beneath the water surface make up the majority of the submerged roadway. The national economy of Norway will greatly benefit from this improved and more reliable transportation system. It will link cities in new ways and change how people live there by introducing new habitational patterns. In addition to shortening travel times to hospitals, workplaces, and schools, these new roads will increase economic diversity and stability while making commuters happier. Inaccessibility has caused certain communities like Disney's, a cluster of rural municipalities on an archipelago off the coast, to lose over 50% of their population during the past century. All over Scandinavia, population decline is still on the rise. Although reorganizing the E39 would have several advantages, preliminary estimates indicate that it would be substantially more expensive than the $47 billion allocated for highways. According to their calculations, it may potentially amount to an additional $38 billion US dollars or $340 billion Norwegian krone. Therefore, why does Norway wish to pursue this crazy floating tunnel idea as opposed to simply building more bridges? Road construction in Norway raises a few environmental concerns. First of all, the severe weather can be erratic, with roads frequently closing and ferries needing to abruptly postpone departures owing to snow, high winds, or waves. As a result, Many end up driving for hours only to be turned away at crossings and forced to put their plans on hold. The highway that is nearly entirely hidden is the best and most effective one. In light of this, Norway has chosen a cutting-edge new design known as a Submerged Floating Tube Bridge, or SFTV. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration's chief engineer, Ariana Minoretti, told CBC that some of the analyzed segments will have average size tunnels that are roughly 5 to 6 kilometers long. 
while others may only be 600 meters long. Although the tube itself isn't buoyant, the floating tunnel is. Pontoons floating on the surface or cables attached to the seabed spaced around 800 feet apart to stabilize the tubes. Since boats will be able to plainly see the side of the tunnel, the pontoon approach is probably the safest. Ships, boats, and even submarines will be able to avoid collisions because the real tunnel is far enough below the water surface. The experts have determined that a depth of 20 to 50 meters or 60 to 150 feet below the surface is adequate to prevent collisions with watercraft and to avoid a depth that would result in an increase in water pressure. The Rogaland Fixed Link, often known as ROGFAST, is one of the new tunnels that are being considered for construction in Bocknefjord. The submerged tube bridge is already in the construction phase. The tunnel will be 27 kilometers long and 390 meters deep making it the world's longest and deepest undersea road tunnel. The design will incorporate a direct connection to the island municipality of Kvetsoy, providing a location where visitors can leave the E39 and enter a little settlement. The floating tunnels will contain escape routes that drivers can use to reach the surface in an emergency, just like other tunnels. There will be emergency exits every 250 meters, or 820 feet. In the ROGFAST tunnel, as well as emergency lights and phones spaced out at different intervals. This particular tunnel's construction began in 2018 and was scheduled to cost 2 billion US dollars when finished in 2026. However, because the project is already running over budget, the projected completion date has been lowered to 2029. The administration has suggested generating an additional 145.5 million US dollars or 1.3 billion Norwegian krone. These submerged tunnels have an inventive design, but as is often the case, new issues arise. Fires and explosions are particularly dangerous. To ensure that the floating tunnels are as secure as possible, Norway is already on the case. A brand new, more effective road should raise that figure. Additionally, the E39 will build new bridges between the islands and the mainland, boosting commerce in hitherto inaccessible regions. By 2050, Norway wants to open up its new floating motorway to traffic. By the time construction is complete, it will have been reduced by 50 kilometers of roads in addition to all seven ferry crossings making it around 1,100 kilometers long. And that's all for today's video. Would you drive in one of these floating tunnels? Or would you take the scenic route instead? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy everything luxurious, check out our other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until our next video. See you then.